Can you tell me what started World War One? Pearl Harbor. Pearl Harbor. Well, in Downton Abbey, you see, Lord Grantham gets the telegram from Mr. Carson at a tea party. It's sunny and nice and warm. And he reads the telegram. He opens it with like the letter opener, like the knife. And then he like gets up and tells everyone to shut up and he goes, We're at war. And then the next season, there's a time skip, and it's like the young men of the household, like the servants and the family, like laying in the dirt trenches. It's so. Brian, can you tell me what started okay. World War One? Slavery. Slavery. Mm. Slavery. Wasn't like the Gulf of Tonkin or something like that? Pearl Harbor. The assassination of Lincoln. Okay. Okay. You can just go now. Just go ahead. You can stop filming. On June 28, 1914, Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, traveled to the Bosnian capital of Sarajevo with his wife Sofia to inspect the imperial forces stationed well, there. In 1908, the Serbs had been promised their independence from the Ottoman Empire, but right before the assassination, they heard that in fact, they had been annexed, they'd been taken over by Austria-Hungary. They were told that they could be their own country, so they'd been waiting around for a couple decades. In the annexation, taken over by Austria-Hungary was the final straw. Mm -hmm. During their trip, a Serbian nationalist group known as the Black Hand plotted to kill Ferdinand during a parade. Grenades were thrown at the royal car, but missed, instead rolling under the car behind the royal couple. Ferdinand then made the mistake of attempting to visit those who had been hit in the prior explosion, and he and his wife were shot en route to the hospital. He in the neck, and she in the stomach. The, the guys of the Black Hand, um, I mean, they were young. They were, you know, late teens, early 20s. They were sort of interested in the short-term goal of Serbian independence. The assassin, 19-year-old Gavrilo Princip, was arrested in connection with the assassination, but only sentenced to 20 years in jail as he was a minor. He died four years later of tuberculosis while in jail. Immediately after, well, there was a lot of sadness and confusion, sadness for the family, but it sent Europe just on a haywire. Like, what, what are we going to do here? All the alliances going into World War I really got triggered because Russia had to back up their Serbian brothers, but the Austrians had allied with the Germans. So there was a, there was a real... Crisis. July, July 1914 would have been an incredible time to be alive. It triggered a real international problem. I don't think the European leaders, when they had all these alliances, these grand alliances, triple alliances, knew that they were actually going to have to be used. With the assassination of the Archduke, a string of events would be set in place, leading up to the beginning of one of the bloodiest conflicts in human history, World War I. Beginning on August 3rd, with Germany declaring war on France, the war would continue until October of 1918 and take the lives of over 38 million people.